Hey everyone, Night Haro here, and uh, today we've got a video on the upcoming changes to healing in Update 35. So if you don't know, there has been some serious concern about the way the changes would affect healing. The, originally, I think it would have had a pretty disastrous effect, Zoss has walked back many of those changes, or a lot of them at least. So what I want to talk about today is just kind of like where we're at, what it's looking like, and and that kind of whole, you know, that, that whole thing. Before I get into that, before we talk about that, I do need to say something though. So recently I was I was in a, a, a Discord, not actually my own, but I was just in a Discord and I was talking with some people, and I made the statement that healing on the PTS was OP. And just the short of it is I, I was wrong, okay? Um, I had some data, it, it was actually a couple of weeks ago from a different patch, and I, I had gotten some logs sent to me, and I realized that they weren't an apples to apples comparison, but I thought they were close enough. And, uh, I, you know, according to Zoss, they had changed the coefficients on some things. And I, I don't know, you know, that patch is gone, They've or that update patch, so like, that iteration of the PTS is already gone. So I can't confirm or deny that those things are correct or incorrect, but it doesn't actually matter because I didn't have enough data to say it nearly that confidently. And so I was wrong and I, I just wanted to apologize. And, and to say more specifically, the reason I think this is important and the reason I'm saying it on this video is because as someone who does this professionally, when I'm talking in Discord or, or, or sometimes I often will say stuff kind of off the cuff, I think of this, I think that, I should not be saying things confidently unless I am very sure of them. And while everything that we do as content creators is almost always pseudoscientific, just because doing things truly scientifically and to like rigorous academic standards is just not possible or practical, we just don't have the time, or I certainly don't have the time. And, uh, and, and so, yeah, we have to kind of make some approximations. We have to say, oh, it looks like this, and then kind of test that way. But regardless, um, I need to make sure that everything I'm giving out, and I, I've told you guys this, that I always want to try to make completely accurate vid videos it, to the best of my ability. And, and certainly I mess up. Sometimes I say things that I, you know, I, I know better. I just misspoke or something else like that. But uh, in this case, I think I just got ahead of myself and I, um, I just want to apologize. I was wrong. So just want to say that here. Um, okay. So moving on to the actual changes here. So I think the real question for everybody is like, is it, how bad is it going to be in the next patch? Do they run healing? Is it, is it a, is it, you know, is it terrible or whatever? So first off, I'm talking about from a PVE perspective. Okay. So that's where I'm coming from here. And what I will say is that there are some changes. Some things are going to be different. I do think it will be a bit harder, but I don't think it's going to be broken. And, and I'll talk about the details and go into that. So um, I don't think it's something we need to be super concerned about. I do feel that some changes that were meant primarily for PVP are affecting PVE negatively and unnecessarily. And I think that the thing that most people keep saying, and I, I, I tend to agree, although I don't pretend to understand the intricacies or the details involved of why this might be a good or bad idea, but a lot of people want the separation of PVE and PVP. They're like, it doesn't matter. Just separate the two, have things work different in PVP than they do in PVE. And Zoss doesn't seem interested in doing that. I don't know why. I assume they have good reasons, but I, I have, um, I'm ignorant. I don't know, you know, I don't know the history or whatever of why they would or wouldn't do that. But I know that that is what a lot of people would like. And a lot of people have said and expressed and uh, a lot of them very knowledgeable people. So I don't know. But regardless, uh, it's happened. So um, so just give you kind of a brief overview. I am going to go through not every ability, but quite a few abilities, the main ones you're going to be using for healing. I only did this on one class on a Necro. In theory, heals of that same type should be affected similarly. And so this should be able to kind of like flow through with all the other classes. I do plan on doing some updated healer guides on individual classes. And so I will cover stuff more in depth than those. But right now, I just want to talk about basically where healing is, should be at in, in U35, update 35, assuming they don't have any drastic changes when, when things go live or from the current feedback. So the first thing I'll say is that most of the heals that you're going to be using are going to be unaffected or at least not affected in any, any major way. So what I mean by that is that the burst heals, so your single target and just, you know, you hit a button, it does a heal and then it's done. Those are unaffected. They are coming up with the exact same numbers. The coefficients seem to be the same. And so 
using Breath of Life in uh, before update 35 should be the same after update 35, at least for my testing. I tested with Render Flesh and a few others um, using Combat Prayer. Combat Prayer is working exactly the same. Um, however, some other things are being affected. Your class skills that are large and AOE ground ground hots, those will be unaffected. Okay. At least, at least again, from my testing with the Necromancer. And I assume that's the same with other ground based class hots. Those don't seem to be changed at all. The things that have been changed. Okay. Illustrious healing, which is like the go-to resto staff AOE heal. It has been nerfed significantly. So basically it heals for the same amount, but now they added like three seconds to it or something close to that. And, uh, and I'll have the exact numbers here in a second, but um, it, it is healing for a lot less every tick. It does last longer, and so if you consider that you're throw, you could throw in an extra combat prayer or three during that time, it should be more than enough healing. Uh, what that will do is it might make healing a little bit more active than it has been previously. I don't think that that is necessarily altogether a bad thing, but I also, you guys know, healing is not my main spec, so I could be wrong on that. I'm just you know, that's my take at this point in time. Uh, things like radiating regen. So this is the main one that they seem to have nerfed the hell out of for PvP. And I think the problem is, uh, what, I, what I've been told, is that in PvP, uh, you know, four or five people will use radiating regen and it stacks each one. And it was so strong that it was really hard to kill people and they just hit radiating regen. And with, with that, you don't have to be super close together. You can be very mobile and it's a huge heal. And if you get four of them stacked together, that's really significant. So instead of limiting the number of radiating regens you can stack to like two, which is all you would need for PvP, uh, instead they decided to nerf radiating regen. So I guess they wanted it to still be able to scale if you have large groups, but they wanted it to be uh, a much uh, more incremental step as you stack more and more uh, instances of radiating regeneration. So that has been healed. So what that's going to be for PVE, it means that newer groups and groups that are inexperienced that use radiating regen like a spammable and in places like uh, VAS, Veteran Asylum Sanctorum, where they're very mobile and it's very hard to drop ground hots and you're using radiating regen kind of as a spammable. Also Basai, that's another place where you might use that because the group can be spread out and be moving from point A to point B quite a bit. Those are areas where that skill is not going to be nearly as useful. And I don't know. I don't know what this is going to turn out to. I haven't tried it in content, but it seems like that could be leading to people's death. So there are going to be some, some potential changes or at least some difficulty increase uh, or some changes that your group might have to make if, if that's something you're struggling with or if you're new. So that doesn't seem great because it's harming new people newer groups and uh you know that's what they said they explicitly didn't want so you know i don't know here or there uh, other things that are affected other other single targets quote unquote sticky hots so any kind of heal over time that is on you or on someone else and, and goes with them wherever they move those have been nerfed and nerfed significantly which is kind of a little bit frustrating when you think about you have a, a one-time burst heal for classes that use that, that's not going to be negatively affected. And so, you know, I don't know what, why, why one and not the other. It doesn't seem like that's going to be equally applied because some classes will tend to use something like a heal over time more, and some classes will tend to use a burst heal. So if you're on something like a Templar and you're using Breath of Life, that's going to be unaffected. If you're using certain other class abilities, and there are quite a few on different classes, some of them may work significantly worse than they were pre-update 35. So all of that to say that for healers, I don't think this is going to be a huge deal. You are going to be a little bit more active in healing. I think in at least veteran content, I'm not talking about hard mode content, but at least in veteran content, honestly, it was uh, a little bit too easy. Uh, I thought a little bit too simple. Now the healing checks that there are in a lot of, a lot of places like veteran Sunspire, that is going to remain unchanged. And, and I think those were already challenging. So I think that's good. So if you're trying to heal someone out of tombs on Locusties and uh, veteran Sunspire, all of your burst heals and all of your ground hots that you would lay down before the person goes into the tomb. And if you're using healing ward, all that stuff is going to heal exactly the same as it was pre-update 35, or at least very, very close to it. So none of that is really going to be changed. And so a lot of those heal checks, healing your tank uh, out of different mechanics, all that kind of stuff is going to be the same. The main thing is that radiating regen and illustrious healing have been nerfed significantly. So 
just realized that. So again, I do think this potentially will affect newer groups more than anybody else. So using Illustrious Healing is kind of a go-to heal. And now many of your class heals are going to be much better and going to be what you want to put down first. And not every class has all the same heals. Um, the Healing Orb is going to be much more important as well because it is still functioning largely the same. It, it took a little bit. There's a little bit of a change. I don't know if they just barely modified the code efficient or what they did or maybe my numbers are wrong so they're they're within like one percent of each other or a little bit less so um they're pretty close they don't seem like they've changed that much but uh that is something healing orbs still work the same as they were it's going to be even more important to use them illustrious healing is going to be less important and then your class heals that are ground based and uh hot heal over times are going to be more important. Um, so I do think, again, unfortunately, this is going to disproportionately affect newer groups as they try to nerf something for PvP. It's having the unintended consequences of hurting PvE. I don't think it's going to be too bad. You are going to have to be a little bit more concerned with maybe keeping people grouped up and stuff like that. Certain fights are going to be a little bit harder, but I don't think it's too bad. The other situation that this is really going to affect is with, like I mentioned before, with certain classes that, that their particular heals are going to be potentially more grossly affected than others. Templars won't be if they're using Breath of Life. Other classes might be if they're using some sort of heal over time that is sticky and sticks on them. And so what that could create is that it could make, and, and re also recently the changes to the Nightblade healing with Dark Cloak, which is what you used to use in portals and doing other solo PvE content, that's not going to work as well. And so it could be that everybody starts using Vigor, the Selfish Morph of Vigor, which, which seems to be doing okay. It was nerfed a little bit, but not too significantly. Um, and it gives you more damage reduction. So maybe that makes up for it. I think we kind of just have to see. But I think there are a lot of places like Cloud Rest Portals, like Backyard and Vmaw. I think there are some places where this could be a problem where you have people spread out or you have people going and doing content in a group, but like off by themselves where they could be disproportionately affected. Halls of Fabrication, the second boss when you have to go upstairs. All of these are examples, and I think it might end up where you don't want to use certain class skills that you did want to use before because now they've been nerfed, and so you might go to Vigor or some other skill. So, yeah, anyways, that's the changes. That's my take on it real quick. So uh, let's go ahead and look at individual skills here. So first up, Energy Orb. Here you can see it seems to be healing for just about the same amount. So that's good. It seems pretty much unchanged. After that, we have Resistant Flesh. And here you can see that it is functioning the same. That's the burst heals I was talking about functioning just the same. Uh, then we have a class heal over time. Um, again, you're seeing it's healing for exactly the same amount. Now moving on to Illustrious Healing, and you can see that now the, the heal is reduced by a significant amount. And consider that I am stripped down and wearing no clothes and have no passives or anything on these characters. And then uh, here we have Combat Prayer. That is working the same. And then, of course, Radiating Regeneration is uh, is significantly nerfed as far as the, the heal per tick that you're going to be getting for that. Next up is Vigor. And uh, this is the Selfish Morph of Vigor. So the the Echoing Vigor got a significant nerf. I'm not covering that here because that's uh, there's certain situations where you could use that in PvP. Everybody stacks up and everybody uses Echoing Vigor. But that's not a very common use of it. That's more of a PvP use. So for PvE, you can see that it is healing significantly more. And uh, a note on the live version here, I don't actually have this maxed out on this character. It's level 3, not level 4. So it will be even more uh, when compared to live uh, to the PTS so um, than what I'm actually showing you here. And then after that, we've got our healing ward. Uh, you can see that that is ticking for just about the same. Healing ward is another one. I'm sorry, this is what I talked about, the pseudoscientific. It's not leveled up on, on live quite as much, but uh, they should be showing pretty much the exact same numbers on the healing ward. It shouldn't be changed. So uh, I took some screenshots here just to show you the tool tips now and what they say. Note that, you know, tool tips aren't, aren't always correct, but uh, this is what it's looking like right now for resolving vigor. I do like this change for resolving vigor. I think it's going to be good. Uh, Echoing Vigor, again, I think this is PvE getting caught up in the PvP nerf, so we'll see how that works out for us. Rating Regeneration, we've already talked about. 
Combat prayer, we already talked about, healing for the exact same amount. Illustrious healing, that's the significant nerf here. And then last up is going to be healing ward, which, uh, again, is healing for, for the same amount. So uh, anyways, guys, that's uh, that's just a quick video that I want to get out and uh, say that I don't think it's going to be game-breaking. I don't think it's going to be terrible. I do think there are some changes that will negatively affect some PvE situations. I think the main ones are going to be for solo characters or when you're doing a portal mechanic or you're off by yourself in a group that could potentially affect you and, you, and it could mean that you don't want to use a class heal and you want to go back to Vigor or something else for your class heal. So um, we'll just have to see how it all shakes out. But hope this video was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.